Hari Om. In this video, we discuss current carrying circular rule as a magnetic dipole. Now here we already studied that a circular loop carrying current is producing a magnetic field and effectively this circular loop is acting as a magnetic dipole that means two equal and opposite magnetic poles separated by a small distance. Now let us see how this circular loop is acting as a magnetic dipole. Here, the current is flowing in the clockwise direction and therefore, this phase of this loop is acting as a south pole according to the right hand thumb rule you can find. And then, the other side will be acting as north pole because if you view from the other side, the current will be flowing in the anti-clockwise direction. So clockwise direction phase is acting as south pole and anti-clockwise direction is acting as north pole. So this side south pole and the opposite side is north pole. So two poles are separated by a very small distance. So circular loop carrying current is acting as a magnetic dipole. Now we can define the magnetic dipole moment of this circular loop as the magnetic dipole moment M is a vector which is directly depending on the strength of the current I flowing and the magnetic dipole moment M directly depending on the phase area A of the loop. So effectively, magnetic dipole moment is directly proportional to current into area of the loop and the proportionality constant you can find that it is 1 and therefore M equal to I into A you can see. Now this is the equation for magnetic dipole moment of the loop of area A carrying current I. Now suppose there are n turns for the loop, then each loop will be containing the same current I at the very same time and thus what the total magnetic moment in that case will be equal to n times I into E. So this is for single loop and this is for n loop. Now you can find that m1 will be equal to n times m. Okay? So as the number of turns is increasing, then the moment is also increasing. Now you can see area I you can take it in terms of pi r square and you can substitute that over here. Whatever it is. Now the unit of this magnetic moment is ampere into meter square. In short, you can say unit SI unit of dipole magnetic dipole moment is ampere meter square. Ampere meter square minutes. Now the point we not understand here we consider a regular circular loop, a definite circle of radius r. I just found that if you take a planar loop of any shape and size, the magnetic dipole moment is found to be the product of the current and the area of the loop you consider. So the shape and size is not a problem, it must be a loop, a planar loop and shape is error. So in all the case you can find that the magnetic dipole moment of the loop carrying current is equal to n times I into
and its unit as ampere meter square. Now, the dipole moment is a vector quantity, so it's all vector written here. So, what's the direction of this magnetic dipole moment vector? Magnetic dipole moment vector is taken from south to pole to north to pole through the axis. So, south pole to north pole through the axis means here it is south pole and the other side is north pole. So, here the dipole moment vector will be now into the plane of the loop through the axis. Now, to understand the direction, you can use right hand screw rule. Right hand screw rule means if you rotate the screw in the right hand direction. The direction of rotation is direction in which the current is flowing in that phase. So if I take the right hand screw here and rotate it towards right, means towards the direction of the flow of current, you can find that the tip of that screw will be advancing into the plane. So the advancing of that screw, the tip of the screw movement, direction of the tip of the screw movement gives the direction of the dipole moment. So, right hand screw rule you can use here to find the direction of the magnetic dipole moment. Right hand screw rule means you take the right hand screw, give it the axis of that loop and rotate the screw in the direction in which the current is flowing in the loop. Then, the direction in which the tip of the screw moves, that gives the direction of the magnetic dipole moment. So it's so easy to find. Understand? Right hand screw rule. Okay.